Okay, so this is the cleansing boiler section and I just want to um, have a chat with you about an added benefit the flow has and you've heard me probably mention it a few times uh, throughout this particular DVD uh, and it's to do with the fact that flow will cleanse the inside of your boiler uh, and save you up to 15% on your fuel bill. Now, what I mean by that is uh, on a typical boiler you will have these. These are called heat exchangers. Now, you will generally in a combi boiler you will have two of them. Now, one of them, uh, say it's up top, uh, what it will do is it will heat up the water that goes around your radiator loop. Okay, now generally that loop of water is a sealed loop and it will have antifreeze in it, um, obviously to, to um, prevent frost. Um, there is a lower uh, heat exchanger and what that will do is it will heat up the fresh cold water that comes into the boiler and then goes on to all of your hot taps and faucets and showers etc. Okay so what we have here I've just cut this heat exchanger in half just to show you um, and as you can see it's kind of like a honeycomb effect inside here. Now if you imagine this honeycomb is in layers this is a very broad brush um, explanation but if you imagine these honeycomb uh, pieces are in layers so you'll have one three five seven nine etc two four six and eight. Well there is an extra loop that comes down from the, uh, the radiator section um, which is boiling hot water and what it will do is it will come down through two of these holes um, come in and go through say layers one three five and seven okay then it will come back out of the top and that will continue on on a boiling hot loop now your water on the other hand will come through on the other side of this heat exchanger which has two other holes the water will come through and it will travel through these layers backwards and forwards in two four six and eight okay and as that water travels through it is heated above and below by this uh, boiling hot loop of water now as water travels through, there is natural sediment in that water. Um, you will hear of other devices such as magnetic devices and so on that will, that will attract um, the, the pollutants and, and, and uh, metal particles that are in the water. But what you'll find is there's also just sediment uh, and it's very, very small, but it will gather over time. And so what happens is, as you can see in these little honeycomb pieces, little Vs, what happens is, is the sediment just gathers and gathers and gathers over time. Now, if the layers underneath, say one, three, five and seven, are trying to heat two, four, six and eight from below, what it's doing is it is first of all heating the sediment uh, first of all and then that sediment is trying to heat your water now obviously that doesn't sound very efficient and it isn't okay so what you can actually do is use flow to get rid of that sediment and here's how it happens what you would do is you would do a typical drain down now pick a nice day in the middle of summer um, sometime that you're not obviously depending on just draining down to walk away from the property so you would just drain down uh, the property completely drain all of your hot taps all of your cold taps and what will happen is air will travel through your boiler this is the reason um, why you don't have to manually drain the boiler anymore using flow because it will be taken care of for you air will travel through in the right direction following the natural flow of the water now what it will do is it won't remove that sediment uh, at this stage but what it will do is it will upset it and it will disturb it okay and when that happens what you would then do is complete the drain down and then switch your water back on again. Now, depending on the age of the boiler, you will be quite surprised at what comes out. Um, I did it on my own boiler at home. It was a seven year old boiler and the water that came out was just absolutely pure black. It's something akin to draining an old radiator. That was how black that it was. Now, um, what I've done here is I've just got a, a bottle of water here and if you let it settle what you'll find is is that whenever you take out the water that it, the, the whole water will be discolored but when you actually collect it and let it settle you get this kind of gunge this sediment here and so very simply what happened there was flow creates a spiraling vortex motion and that's what it is that that disturbs the sediment but it just disturbs it first of all it is by yourself turning your water back on again and then drawing that water back through the taps again that will actually um, uh, push that sediment out of this. Now what that will do is 
that will uh, normally uh, on a boiler this is the part that will go and it's like a consumable part a plumber will come in they will disconnect it they will remove it uh, and replace it with another one and one of these can cost you anywhere from 100 to 200 pounds and then you're plan paying for a plumber's time um, obviously to uh, to install it so it can be quite a costly piece by using flow um, and removing this even just once a year what it will do is it will extend the life of the heat exchanger indefinitely but not only that what it will do is by taking out this sediment it makes the boiler more efficient and it will save you up to 15% on your fuel bill.